Yeah, some great ace chances to be able to maybe win that game before it even got to overtime. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty good back and forth game for a lot of it, wasn't it? It was uh, yeah, a hotly contested game, and you're, you're right. We had uh, Skinner, Tuck, breakaways, uh, Quinner, a couple of nice plays, uh, and one that um, yeah, was was inches of going, going in. So obviously, yeah, we we we, uh, we had some opportunities even in overtime. Darlene had two two uh, pretty good looks in overtime as well. Is that a good example for the group on just managing the game and getting it to overtime, giving yourself a chance, even under less than ideal circumstances, instead of forcing plays, just taking what's given to you? Absolutely. We, we were not, um, you could tell I, our guys weren't as sharp, but they, um, and as a consequence, they weren't as sharp with the puck, and, and they had to defend a little bit more, but they defended hard, uh, and that, that's the key. Um, the moments we needed to defend, they defended hard, and, and they limited second chances and second opportunities or push pucks to the outside a little bit more and contested pucks around the net better and uh, you know obviously that that enabled us uh, with some good play by Upi to uh, weather weather a few storms obviously a uh, heck of a team over there and then generate what I what I mentioned a um, couple of breakaways and, and other you know good opportunities even all the way through overtime. Is that the same reason why you did so well on the major penalty? You defended hard. It seemed like even if they got the puck in the middle, you guys were able to kill the play rather quickly. Yeah, I thought we were got ourselves in trouble with the puck, but our reach without the puck uh, back toward our net were much better, and, and specifically on the penalty kill. Uh, you saw more presence, more poise, confidence, um, uh, anticipation. So, yes, those were Ryan obviously willingness to compete, which you have to uh, in a game like that. And, um, so yeah, the penalty kill was very good and looked very confident. What's the challenge of dealing with with their forecheck? You know, with your defensemen just trying to get out of the zone. That, that seemed like that was Florida's focus, especially the first half of the game in particular. Yeah, and that's where that's where we weren't sharp. Um, I don't think it was anything to do with their forecheck because Washington forechecked that hard the other day, and we were just much sharper and cleaner. Um, and other teams, obviously, uh, th 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 we were not sharp there. Um, we looked a little anxious on, on transition, jumped ahead of ourselves, didn't support the puck well enough, uh, and they overload everything. So you know, your first pass out is going to be is going to be an overload by them, and uh, we we had to adjust. And, and uh, but we were we were not sharp with the puck early, like I said, but uh, defended quick back and made a little bit more work for ourselves. You almost look at the overtime. I mean, one turnover and it's in your net. I mean. It, Simple. I mean, you didn't do a, have a lot of turnovers in overtime, but you got one, and it winds up in your net. Well, to the wrong guy. Obviously, exposed puck, um, and exposed puck against uh, you know in this league is is uh, usually a turnover, and, and it was there. So, but um, yeah, again, we had we had a couple of chances. I think the, the other component of that it's uh, it's after a couple, it, you know, it's a uh, it's a little later in the shift as well, which is a factor. Um, so, um, but yeah, that's a tough one.